Hello, 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 hello. All right, so this video uh, is basically like a little guide sort of thing. Uh, basically, we're going to be talking about how to get inside of this dome right here, which if you don't know, this is also where you get the relic for the arms as well. Uh, they will be in the center of this dome right about there they are. So you cannot stand on top of it because otherwise it sends you right down here and it teleports you all the way down here. So basically how this puzzle works. It's not too complicated of a puzzle, uh, but these are three seals and they basically, you basically want you to go unlock these three seals here. Um, they're really not that complicated to find. As a matter of fact, it's all those satellite dishes that are right up there on top of that mountain. There's three of them around. So you got one up there, you got one over there, and you got one over there. You basically just need to go visit uh, all three of those uh, locations. So I will take you to each one and then we'll talk about it as we get there because each one of them has a little bit of a different puzzle that you have to solve. Alrighty, I'm going to start explaining from right about here. Basically, you have to enter into that uh, in the, the satellite tower right up there. But what you're going to be doing if you want to do it without actually, well, you, you got sir, you're in my way. Okay, anyway, what you want to do is you want to run around this area and you want to look for these password storage boxes. And if you want if you want to do the full puzzle, you would run around for these uh, password store boxes, look for them, and then eventually, after finding all of them, they will give you the hint to the actual code that you need. For the purpose of this video, I am just going to tell you the code outright. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over to this machine once you enter into the satellite building, and you're going to enter into the password 5972. Then you'll see a prompt come up called device activation. You just activate that. And you'll get this little cutscene here. So after doing that satellite, if you come back down here, you will notice that one of the symbols is lit up. This will be the same case for both the other towers. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to come down here after every satellite. Um, yeah, just know that after each one of these satellites, it will light up one of these symbols green. That's how you unlock it. All right, onwards to the next satellite. All right, I did forget to mention that the first satellite location is right over here on my first ping here. Uh, the second satellite location is right here on the map. And the third one, I will show you when we get to it. All right, so the second tower is fairly simple. When you come over here, it's going to give you a data and you're going to have an insufficient power repair, power repair, power, power plants nearby. So basically that second option kind of tells you what you need to do. Uh, if you want to, you can read the data. It kind of just gives you a hint about it. But so what you're going to do is you're basically going to run around to these repair stations right here. Uh, the basically sparking generators. It took me a little bit to figure out, but what you want to do is you want to come into your commissionary. In the point store, you want to buy the fine gift. Now, when you go into your bag, you open up the fine gift. You're going to see the first option here is a tool set. This is the item you need to repair the machines. You want to grab two of them, and then you should be able to walk to every single one of these generators and just repair them the reason we grabbed two of them is because if you noticed on this generator and also the one outside here they say they require two toolkits and the first generator requires one so you only want to get two toolkits this way you can repair all three of them once you're done come back over to the machine do device activation and you should activate your second tower All right, now we're going to head over to the third tower, which is right over here. All right, as for the third tower, this third tower is going to take you on a little bit of a uh, hidden quest line. 
So it says your missing console components missing one. Uh, basically, you're you're missing like a you're missing like a hidden quest line item that you get over in Banjus and over here. So I will try. I'll, I'll go through this as I can, but basically, right out here, right out here is a hyena hidden secret base that you have to access. However. The thing is to access that base, you need to do the base from here first. And like I said, it's a little bit of a hidden quest line, so I will go through it with everyone right now. So what you want to do first is teleport over to this teleport point right here, right closest to the edge over here of Banjus. Okay. And you just want to walk all the way out here to this. It, it's going to kind of look like a rig in the middle of the ocean. You should be able to see it from here. All right, so you're going to get all the way out here to the rig and you're going to see a hyena guard sitting on like what's a what's like a little lift thing. And also, if you look up too, you'll notice that there is a barrier above us. So you cannot physically enter into that barrier until you do this. Uh, just for purpose, I will show you guys. They do not let you in. It kicks you right back out. So, when you talk to him, you're only going to have two options for the first time, but he's going to give you a clue on who to talk to. And yes, you do have to talk to this hyena guard to initiate this hidden quest line, per se. So you can really answer anything you want. Uh, what you're looking for is this right here where he says they could be arrested by that iron headed guard at the banjus port after you talk to him you're gonna go all the way to banjus now this guy will be in a different spot depending on your game he does move around a little bit kind of like how he is now but you're basically looking for this port card here Loswall. he'll tell you this whole thing about the hyenas have a secret base and he basically kind of gives you a he gives you a tidbit on what to answer for them. You don't really need to focus on what he's saying. Just follow kind of what I'm doing here. Okay, now you're going to go back over to the... the rig on the water and go talk to that same guard we talked to a second ago. All right, once you get to this guard, you should have another option here now. You can click that third option. And then you click the third option again for the most liberal hyena. Okay, they will let you in. And now there's a few things uh, I will state. I don't know if you have to do this, but I will say when I did this originally, I read this. And this will give you kind of a hint for the next section you're going to do. I don't know if this is required or not when I initially did this. Uh, I was just kind of looking around the base and I read this and I don't know if this activates the next part of the quest line or not, but I will state that I did read this so you can test it out if you want, but yeah, your choice, do what you want. Okay, what you're going to do is come up here and grab this. This is also how you get this, by the way. Alrighty, now if you want to talk to some people around here, I know this guy does give you another uh, hint for what you're going to need later, so... Uh, so you're going to need a sizzling meat, which is some food that you're going to need. And there was another guy you could talk to, too. I just don't really remember which one it was. But yeah, so a lot of the a lot of the uh, hyenas on this rig will kind of just give you a hint for the next one. Uh, sorry if this is kind of scattered. I'm trying to remember this after only doing it once. Now we go to the next rig. So the next rig we're going to go to is all the way over here in Navia. And it's going to be up here on your map. All right. What I will say is you're going to need a few different things here. One of them being a strawberry shake type thing. And you get that by combining when you go to creation in the cooking pot, just put a strawberry and some carbonated water into it. Okay. So three things you're going to need is you're going to need one ice strawberry soda which is what I just showed you how to make. 
So you need a tomato and fried egg pasta. And for the tomato and fried egg pasta that you're going to need, you will need four tomato, four homey home grain, and one egg. And you're going to need one sizzling meat. So you're going to need those three foods. Now we will head over to the rig. Once you get over to the rig, same concept applies. You will not be able to enter up in there until you talk to the hyena guard sitting on the, I guess, like little platform on the water. Okay. First option you're going to click is I'm here for the hyena's carnival. Second option is hyena queen. And the third option is the seventh hyena carnival. And then the heirs of Ida is the last option. So I will state on the other rig, every person you talk to, including that little billboard thing I showed you, does give the answer to these this guy's questions. So first person we're going to go to is Morgoli over here. He wants the soda. So you're going to give him the strawberry soda. He'll do this little jig. And he will give you the console component that you need for the tower. All right, next person you're going to talk to is Smaller over here. He's going to tell you to go talk to the hyena officer. I'm just going to skip it for my purpose. He's going to tell you to go talk to the hyena officer. So you're going to come down here to the bottom part of the dock. And basically you find out what this hyena officer likes to eat. All right, so after you find out what food he likes, you come back over here to smaller. You hand over the dish. And you go back over to the officer and give him the dish. He basically states he thought smaller hated him. You go back to smaller. Okay. Now, I will not be putting this in this video, just saying I, the only reason I mentioned it is because it is here. Uh, when if when and if I make a video for that specific puzzle, uh, I will reference this video here or I will actually post a part of the video here. But just keep in mind the number 7092 while you're going through the rest of your game. Uh, I will state right now that that has nothing to do with the tower. Uh, I will say that I have unlocked the center park without having to do this part of the quest while you're here come up here and this is why we need the sizzling steak we talked to this guy and he wants the sizzling meat or a sizzling steak you just give him that and then he'll let you have this uh this treasure all right from there we're gonna go back to the third tower which is located right here All right, once you do all that and you come back to the third tower, you're just going to come over here, go to affix components. And then device activation. That'll activate your final satellite cutscene. And that will also activate the third lock that you need to get into the park. All right, from there, we're going to go to the center console in the middle of the water and go to the and enter into the park. Right. Once you get down here to this machine again, he's going to enter ecological park. I guess. And you are now in the park. You walk up to this machine, just literally claim it and bam, you have the arms. You also get four free chests here too, so claim them as you will. Anyway, that is all that I wanted to show you guys. I know this can be a little bit confusing, especially that third tower. Uh, that third tower is kind of what I had the most trouble with when I was doing it. Uh, everything else kind of fell into place. Uh, the third tower doesn't really explain really where to go too much, 
but yeah so i figured i'd show this to you guys um it's a very easy way to just get the arms it's a very free quest it's not too difficult and yeah plus you get four free chests so good luck at everyone's rolls i hope everybody did enjoy the video if you did please leave a like don't forget to subscribe all that happy go lucky shindig that everyone does on youtube and don't forget to join in the live streams most of the time we stream from 3 p.m till whenever monday through friday i hope to see you guys there i'll be making more guides in the future if there is any specific guide you guys would like to see please let me know in the comment below and i will try to get to them i am caught up to current date on content so if there is anything that you want me to explain or try to show you i will be more than happy to show you anyway with that being said i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you guys later